Hello everyone, Mariet here from Inner Connection. Today I'm going to start training the group that is on this incredible conscious parenting journey with me on module two, four, from havoc to harmony at home. In the first module, we completely devoted ourselves to the parent. We turned within, we looked at where we are at on our journey, because we know that everything that is unresolved in us will be impacting our child as we are learning lessons within the family field together as a unit. The second training was all about the inner child and the parenting that we received during these early years because we're still in effect of those parenting patterns. Then we looked at blockages that might be working in on us, like hereditary patterns, the shadow work we do when we work with our pain body, and we looked at how the mind works with all of this information, our meaning-making machine, how does it process the information, and whether that's a helpful way of thinking about the programs or not. We looked at reprogramming our minds and we looked at recovering ourselves. At the end of this module, we really came to this new place within ourselves. We turned within, we reconnected to ourselves, and now we are ready to be our own conscious parenting guides. So module two that we're going to start today is about meeting our child where they are at. So often when we want children to come in, and do work with us or spend time with us, we really want them to come to us and meet us where we are at with our expectations. And this can really set you up for a fall. So we wanna meet our child where they are at. It's an incredible, powerful module. Today, we're going to look at where are they at developmentally, because we need to understand what we can expect from a two-year-old, for example, versus a seven-year-old. Or if your seven-year-old is still really dependent on you, they're needy, they want reassurance constantly, they we can say we would expect them to be more independent at this stage. Why are they not energetically independent? And then of course we can work on it. We also are going to look at how um, lifestyle choices and the compass of health impacts on our children. Nutrition, sleep, exercise and water. These four cardinal directions for health, if we are not following them with our children, if our children are not on, in balance on the compass of health, then we're going to see behavior symptoms. So there are so much that we can do before we even start to talk about what the behaviors are that we wanna change and how we're gonna change those. That work is going to happen in module three and four. This module is purely about understanding where our child is at, meeting them where they are at, and removing any blockages in our way in our effort to meet them where they are at. So it's all about them. This includes a training on setting up a session. So early on, I want you to be able to invite your child in, in such a way that they're going to jump for joy and join you. And you're also gonna know how to end that process so that they are going to have that feeling of they want more. You are then conditioning them up with fun and being with you and learning. And that's what we really want. We want to facilitate a lifelong love affair with learning, which isn't always currently happening in our industrialized school system. And I'm also going to answer the question, why is that happening? Why are we losing children, for example, around the age of 10 or 13 or 14, where they don't want to go to school anymore, or they give us issues when they're supposed to do learning, and they feel like it's work, and they're not enjoying it, and they are chronically resisting us with regards to it. So I'm going to tell you today why that is happening be between us and our children, and I'm really looking forward to reconnecting with you. Love and light, Mariette.